As a crypto miner, you know you want your equipment to be high quality. Proper cable management is part of your mining rig, and the Veteran Miner has you covered. The Veteran Miner cables are created with the best materials to ensure they are of the highest quality. Our cables are made of 16 gauge tin copper, ensuring another layer of protection from oxidation and corrosion. We have different colored cables carefully crafted to suit your mining rig needs. Glued heat shrink is used to firmly secure the ends on sleeving and wires. We ensure our crimp pins are up to manufacturer specifications with our calibrated machinery. Our wires also have a non-looping design for not only a clean setup, but also for avoiding wire bending. Our cables are 100% made in the USA. The Veteran Miner is forward thinking, always looking for new products to bring you. We support our products with a 100% guarantee. What are you waiting for? Visit our website at www.theveteranminer.com and get the best cables for your mining setup. Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well. Have another great day. This video, I just want to go through a lot of different popular mining software for GPU miners that have been keeping up to date. And there's a lot of different coins, I would say, for a lot of the community here that whether or not you're mining Nexa or you're mining Caspa or dual mining Radiant and Zilliqa or dual mining a lot of other uh, algorithms, there are a lot of different optimizations that have come out recently and are still continually coming out with all of these different mining software uh, developers coming out with an update, I would say either every other day or at least once or twice a week that there's always going to be an optimization here. And it's great to see that these mining software developers are coming out with an update for uh, whichever is, you know, whether it's profitable or whatever is the new type of, uh, I guess, popular method to mine, whether it's for profit or coin that you believe in. I would say more so it's been based on profitability. Let's be honest here. A lot of people either move to these softwares due to either getting improved efficiency and uh, hash rate and stuff for either mining caspa nexa radiant or dual mining you know all these different methods are even triple coin mining which we have talked about uh recently with g miner right g miners has has been coming out of the woodworks uh recently as well with some nice updates here which i want to go through through this video but anyways before i do that i want to go through recently just uh you guys will see this video uh today i have been seeing that zilliqa has been going up in price about 25, 34% in the past seven days here. So that makes it even more enticing for those that want to dual mine any coin and then Zilliqa. That's something that has actually been around for quite a while. And we have made many videos over the past year, uh, even during the time when LHR was around. And the biggest one was dual mining Ethereum with Zilliqa or triple coin mining Ethereum, Alethium, and Zilliqa. And now more so we've been seeing, I would say for those that were triple coin mining, it's going to be Ethereum Classic and the, as the main algo or Ergo and then Caspa or Radiant and then Zilliqa, right? So three different coins that I would say are pretty prominent as of recently and i don't know if a lot of people have been moving towards these coins because you know i've been kind of following like the hash rates and the difficulties especially for like zilliqa and to be honest i haven't really seen zilliqa go up in difficulty at all so that just goes to show i guess depending on people's electrical cost and i guess interest and the trends into crypto mining especially gpu mining it's not a for those that care about it obviously is a is a not a profitable venture and people are not caring about the potential yields that you can get and the, the future price appreciation of a lot of these coins such as Zilliqa for instance which not financial advice but you know this coin has gone up many times in the past and what's not to say that even though it has a little bump of a little price here <laughs> compared to what it was before I know it doesn't look that great but Zilliqa in the bull run is something that I believe could be a coin that could go up a lot in price. So mining this coin and then maybe staking it on through your ledger could yield some nice gains in the future, or it could just go to zero. Nobody knows. You will have to make your own decision about that. But what I can do here in this video is just bring you guys some information here. And actually just a quick thing, I have moved my two like Ipolo V1 ETH minis, like the gold 
iPolo little ASIC miners to the latest iPolo firmware so that I could dual mine ETC and Zilliqa on Ezil. And it seems to work pretty cool. I've been doing it for a couple days here. And uh, not only am I getting Ethereum Classic, but I'm also yielding some Zilliqa every day. So these two uh, 300 mega hash ETC, normally ETC only, is now dual mining Zilliqa. So I'm getting about 23 Zilliqa for these two iPolos every day. And so combined with the ETC that I'm yielding, it's generating about $1.91 altogether. Uh, I know it doesn't seem much right now, but like I've stated in previous videos that with Zilliqa, I'm just staking it right as it's going to my ledger. I go into the zillit.io and I'm staking this coin in hopes for future gains, right? Price appreciation. So anyways, let's go through some software here that have been updating recently, mainly for us GP miners, for those that care. I know there's going to be a lot of people that maybe don't care about updating. They're just mining the coin that they believe in. And that's great. That That is awesome. But this is mainly for those that like to keep their rigs efficient, you know, keep up to date with a lot of different software and also keep up with maybe profitability and, you know, efficiency, all that kind of stuff. Anyways, so Gminer, I would say this software would be a notable one recently that uh, we did do a video recently about triple coin mining that they came out that this mode, triple mining mode, was ETC Caspa Zill or Ergo Caspa Zill. So that was that was pretty cool. But now it, it, that was about a week ago. And then a couple days or even two days later, they came out with the command so that you can specify the overclock settings for Zillica. And so this is very similar to what BZ Miner did. I would say I think it was a couple of weeks ago. BZ Miner already had the dual mining method and you can specify the main algo overclock settings and then the second uh, Zillica overclock settings. And then so in this case, G Miner just came out with that five days ago, which I have yet to try. So I'm going to be doing that if anyone cares about seeing that in a video or not. But G Miner specifies the batch commands uh, right here. OK, and that was five days ago. But G Miner continually uh, two days later. OK, so three days ago as a recording, uh, they did enable dual mining Caspa while Zill uh, mining round here. Uh, this feature removes Caspa hash rate drawdown while Zill mining round use dash Zill D or dash dash Zill dual inten underscore intensity to change dual intensity. So that's interesting. It would just continue to mine Caspa while Zill uh, comes around, right? Every, I think, one to two minutes, every hour and a half. So that's a cool little feature there. So that was three days ago. And then as of recording two days ago, they have another update. OK, they have added the Zill pools without uh, ZMP protocol support. So it was normally I know ZMP support. Uh, in order to dual mine or sorry triple coin mine like a week back and so now they have it without the zmp protocol okay so you can do the manual uh, stratum plus tcp here i know that was a that was a big question a week ago so that that's a cool little feature here and it's nice that they added the hive os update command because a lot of people were wondering you know how do you update your gminer or any other mining software in hive os right and i did show that command some people still had issues because they didn't completely copy or the whole uh, string here, like the web download link from the GitHub and YouTube in the description blocks a little bit of the link here, which is dumb. So a lot of people had some issues with that. But anyways, you know, HiveOS eventually comes out, you know, maybe the next day or two with an update and you just have to update the mining software in HiveOS just normally as you do that at the top in the web GUI. So Gminer, you know, Gminer has been doing great things. OK, so let's go. The next one now is uh, SRB miner. Now, this is one I would say mainly for those that are mining, I would say Radiant uh, and uh, other algorithms, uh, the Blake 3 Ironfish. Uh, I haven't done that, but there's maybe some people out there. But SRB miner, multi version 2.01, just yesterday, just updated. So they've had some things here. And if I scroll here in the back at last week, they have updated another update here. They've added support for NVIDIA architectures, Pascal Turing, Ampere, uh, ADA, Lovelace. So this is. Yeah, they're, they're getting into the NVIDIA game here, uh, which is pretty cool. They remove kernels for dual ETH hash, ETC hash, auto light goes plus uh, Ironfish. Uh, maybe that didn't work for them, but this is still going along. They've been continually having updates here, and it looks like they have the uh, GPU C clock and GPU MEM clock offset overclock parameters here, which is really good as well. So SRB miner, another up and coming one here, which I've been using for uh, Radiant for like my 6700 XTs, really efficient with um, SRB miner. And they do have dual mining methods in here as well. ETH hash, ETC hash, uh, auto Lycos, Caspa, 
and uh, heavy hash and radiance ergo radiant huh, that's pretty cool and uh, ergo and iron fish ergo alethium so that's pretty cool for amd cards here okay and then the next i would say popular one as of recently due to i would i think it's it would be nexa right uh, wild rig miner i think is a popular one for mining nexa and so it looks like they have an improved nexa pow up to 10 percent depends on gpu this is about four days ago uh so recently i know nexa had a little bit of a a little bit of a pump i would say for the past what four or five days here uh, nexa has gone up in price a lot so there's been some rumblings of a lot of people mining nexa uh due to its profitability being really nice on xpatron so wild rig miner multi 0.36.1 beta is another great software that i would say yeah it's been up and coming recently and they've been continually updating over the past month here so another great mining software and another one is lol miner though it's been three weeks ago since they've updated but i'd say they've been notorious for caspa uh, over the past couple months right lol miner and uh, we've we've used lol miner a lot in the past and they continually have updates and you know what i just realized why does it say three weeks ago here and then there's two weeks ago, LOL Miner 1.65a. Okay, looks like there's a little bit of a web issue here. I don't know why the newer version is under the, this may be the stable version. That's why it's uh, higher than the beta version here, but it says latest here. Anyways, looks like two weeks ago. Okay, so scratch that, not three weeks ago. LOL Miner does have another version here. Fixed a bug causing high numbers of duplicate shares on Caspa when dual mining with ETC. So you can see they continually develop here. But what I'd like to see, and I don't know if LOL Miner is going to have it or not, is Nexa or Radiant. I'm not quite sure. I haven't seen any uh, information here if that we could mine Nexapow or Radiant. And yeah, they don't have those two coins here. So that's why it's been more so recently that Wild Rig Miner has been the popular one for uh, Nexa, Nexapow. Okay, anyways, going along, so that's LOL Miner, and now let's talk about BZ Miner, another popular one, but they haven't updated since December 7th, so it's been about, I'd say, a good month. And uh, this would be another notorious mining software uh, that we were using for mining Caspa, or uh, as of recently, uh, dual mining Radiant and Zill. Uh, so BZ Miner, to my knowledge, was one of the first ones to have the ability to change the overclocks for the second algorithm but now g miner has just implemented that right a uh, few versions back uh, over here which is pretty cool so i think maybe a lot of people have been moving over to g miner recently because of this and maybe because of the triple coin mining that maybe a lot of people are doing right now but again bz miner another great software i think a lot of people use still so going along team red miner all right this is uh another software i would i like to use a lot not much recently i've been using wild rig miner or scb miner uh, for my amg gpus uh, because of those other algorithms so team red miner though i would say yeah two weeks ago they say here that team red miner version 10.7 they've been adding more support for like you know uh, FPGAs, right? We've done FPGA content with my Squirrel FK33, but it says here this release primarily adds dual mining of Ergo Caspa on GPUs and adds voltage control support for these FPGAs. And uh, yeah, they have some other stuff here. Yeah, you can see, but yeah, Team Red Miner, another notorious one for AMD miners, but yeah, they haven't updated since uh, since this one two weeks ago, but before that was November 23rd. But yeah, they don't have like Nexa, they don't have Radiant for AMD cards. I think it's just Caspa for now being the, I would say, more so popular coin over the past couple of months. But I think a lot of uh, FPGAs are now coming online here. Difficulty might be getting a little bit more difficult. I think a lot of people have been disinterested uh, right recently for Caspa because of the like the E300s that have, I think, been coming out now. But looks like the difficulty for Caspa has been coming down. So I don't know what's up with that. But uh, next one here, Mini Z Miner. Uh, they haven't updated three weeks ago, but they're still a software they continually update. And uh, this is a notorious one, I'd say, for me, uh, for mining, f using for mining Flux. I think a lot of you guys use this for Flux mining as well. And the last one here, T Rex Miner. Sadly, they used to be one of the biggest mining software, but I don't think anyone's really using them anymore. October 13th of 2022 was the last update. So it uh, looks like they have ETC, Alethium, dual mining support. They did have triple coin mining support before, but I don't think uh, it's it's not it doesn't work that well right now. And I think I've tried it recently and it didn't work. So I think T-Rex Miner has been the only one uh, or maybe some other ones, Phoenix Miner, some other software that 
have kind of stopped developing and maybe they don't really they just they, they haven't really kept up with a lot of what these other mining software developers have been have been doing recently wild rig srb g miner as of recently so it's nice to see that we are still getting a lot of support as gpu miners as a lot of proof of work coins depending on your electrical costs of course and uh, if you're keeping up with a lot of what's going on in the space depending on profitability or depending on the coin that you believe in you're mining we're still getting support right we're still getting support from all these mining developers uh, software developers so that's all great okay that's it for this video let me know your guys' thoughts let me know what software you guys like the most and uh, which coin you're mining or something and if you would like to see a dedicated video on certain things i will love to do that just let me know down below and i will work on that i, I do want to get into more finer uh, details more finer optimizations for a lot of these software for gpus so if you want to see that let me know down below all right have a good one peace out